In this video, I'll be showing you how to add your wood strips to the top of your board. This process is almost identical to adding the bottom strips that I showed you in an earlier video, but there are a few important differences. If you want a more in-depth explanation of the techniques I used to clamp the strips down, go back to that earlier video. The main difference with the adding the top strips is that once your strips are attached, you cannot access the inside of your board anymore. That means that after this step is done, you won't be able to see the exact location of your internal blocking, you can't fill the knot holes as easily, and any loose material like wood, sawdust, or foam will be trapped in your board. So first, because you're gluing over your internal blocking material, it's important to mark the location of those blocks with a pencil on top of your wood strips so you know where to drill into your board after everything is covered up. I also like to drill a small hole where each accessory will be inserted. That way I don't accidentally lose those pencil lines when I'm sanding the board. The next problem to solve is for those of you using strips with knot holes in them, you won't be able to flip your board over and tape those holes and fill them with your epoxy resin like you did before. So you can either fill all of the holes in your strips before you add them to the board, or you can do what I did, which was to fill the knot holes as you go after you've added the strip to the frame, but before you've lost access to the knot underneath the subsequent strips. In my case, I glued and clamped my strip down like usual, applied some tape underneath the knot, and then filled the knot with epoxy from the top. I let that epoxy harden and then removed the tape before I lost access to it. And then the last tip, you just want to be vacuuming the inside cavity of your board thoroughly and regularly during this process so you don't have any loose or dried glue or excess material rattling around inside your board. The last thing you want to hear is a little rattle every time you transport your board by hand. So just a heads up to vacuum often before it's too late. And once all your strips are on, it's a nice opportunity to admire your hard work for a moment because the strip laying process is complete. Next up, we'll get ready for adding our side rail material.